Today we will take a look at the best Android phone for this year. If you want to find more information check out links down below 5. Xiaomi 12 This year's Xiaomi 12 series is a bit different. Xiaomi is offering two almost identical phones in the same lineup, and the Xiaomi 12 is the company's first compact flagship solution in a while. The Mi 8 was the last premium phone from Xiaomi with a similar screen diagonal. The focus of this review is the vanilla Xiaomi 12, which adopts most of the 12 Pro's features except for the telephoto cam and the ultra-fast charging. There are a couple of noteworthy reasons we believe the 6.28-inch Xiaomi 12 has a slight edge over its competitors. For one, the phone isn't compromising in terms of display quality, and then, it also has a significantly bigger battery with blazing fast wired and wireless charging support. The standard entry in Xiaomi's 2022 family of flagship phones, launched alongside the Xiaomi 12 Pro, this handset is the company's first major device to eschew its typical mantra, bigger is better. Instead of putting out a giant smartphone, the 12 has a relatively small form and lesser specs to match. The Pro does all the heavy lifting with a huge screen, powerful camera array and fast charging. 4. Oppo Find X5 Pro The Oppo Find X5 Pro is a phenomenal phone by any measure. The 6.7 inches 10-bit 120Hz QHD Plus panel is one of the best displays in any phone right now and Oppo backs it up with 80W wired and 50W wireless charging, a 5000 mAh battery, and a top-tier camera that boasts 50MP sensors on both the main and ultra-wide lenses. You'll have to live without a periscopic zoom lens. The telephoto here is a measly 2x zoom, but results across all three rear lenses are exceptional. The design is unique too, thanks to a seamlessly sloped camera module built right into the ceramic of the phone's body. The Find X5 Pro is also hard to beat, with all of the above plus a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip, 256GB storage and 12GB RAM. Advanced camera stabilization, bigger battery, yet more premium build, looking at the spec sheet, these are perhaps the key improvements that the Oppo Find X5 Pro brings over last year's model. It may not sound like much at a passing glance, but the Find X3 Pro was good enough to be tough to improve on. Plus, all too often, the real advancements are more significant than the seemingly minor differences in specs. Starting with the camera, we're seeing essentially the same setup as last year, two big sensor units for main and ultra-wide and a telephoto make up the usual trio. And while the telephoto may be relatively modest in both sensor size and reach, the other two come fully loaded, the main camera offers a mix of lens and sensor shift stabilization. At the same time, the ultra-wide has autofocus, and both are built around large high-res sensors. There's also the in-house Marisilicon X image processing chip whose inner workings we may not entirely grasp, but we should be able to appreciate its results. 3. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 Samsung took durability seriously with the Galaxy Z Flip 3. The screen is now 80% more durable than the one found on the Galaxy Z Flip and Galaxy Z Flip 5G, thanks to a new film. Gorilla Glass Victus covers the 1.9-inch outer display and Samsung constructed the phone's frame from its armor aluminium material. All of that provides enhanced scratch resistance, especially on the cover display. The Flip 3 also sports IPX8 water resistance. That means you don't need to worry about dunking it, though neither I nor Samsung would recommend that. We were not able to test the water resistance in our hands on time with the phone. The cover display is probably the biggest change introduced to the Galaxy Z Flip 3's design. That's four times larger than the Galaxy Z Flip's 1.1-inch exterior strip, meaning that you'll see much more information than before. The Galaxy Z Flip 3 comes in four colors, cream, green, lavender, and phantom black. The lavender really stood out to us in our hands-on, truly catching the eye and exemplifying the Flip 3's focus on style. Samsung will also offer gray, pink, and white colorways exclusively on its website. 2. Google Pixel 6 Pro Google has once again reclaimed its Android photography crown and goes head-to-head -head with Apple's best. The Pixel 6 Pro is a powerful and capable phone and tensor, while somewhat moderate in benchmarks, has some seriously excellent applications. The one weakness with this new Pixel is its battery life, and to a lesser extent its fingerprint sensor which has proven temperamental at times. 
but if you want to make use of all of Google's ingenious software features like on-device translation or its magic arrays of photo editor, then these are worthwhile sacrifices. The biggest thing about the Pixel 6 Pro at first glance is the fresh, new design, glass back with three nice color options, and the camera bar that spans the width of the phone. The Pixel 6 Pro's display holds well against others for color saturation and color accuracy, but it falls behind on brightness. It features a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate, meaning it can go all the way down to 10Hz to save on battery, but ramp up to 120Hz for content where it makes sense. 1. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is among the best phones you can buy, if your budget stretches to it. It has a fantastic-looking display, a powerful chipset, and comes with a useful stylus for extra functions. Its real strength is in the photography department though, as it's the best Android camera phone on the market. If you've come to this Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra review to hear about its photography performance, we'll make your research job easier. This is the best camera phone of 2022, and it's just as great for working professionals as it is for passionate amateurs. We spent over a week straight going on photo shoots and trips with the thing, and the novelty of the device never wore off. The Samsung comes with a stylus, which brings a range of uses for creatives. You can use the S Pen for sketches, writing notes or annotating documents, it's also got a button on it, and pressing this while in the camera app takes a photo, making it a useful remote shutter. It's easy to summon the note-taking apps when the muse hits you, withdrawing the S Pen from the body automatically brings up a menu of the most useful apps. Even drawing on the blank screen lets you take a note. Because the phone alerts you when the stylus is far from the phone, you're never at risk of leaving it behind somewhere.